Hello, in this problem we are going to find the exact value of the tangent of 7 pi over 12. So to do that we want to use an identity and so we're going to write the 7 pi over 12 as a sum of two other angles uh, for which we know the trig function values of those angles. So 7 pi over 12 well, one obvious thing to try is maybe 4 plus 3. So 4 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12. And I'm pretty sure these are angles we know because 4 pi over 12 reduces to pi over 3. Yeah, that's one of the familiar angles because 4 goes into 12 three times and 3 goes into 12 four times. So this is pi over 4. So that's going to work we're going to be able to use this along with a trig identity. So the identity we're going to use, I'm going to go ahead and write it down, tells us that if you have the tangent of x plus y, this is equal to the tangent of x plus the tangent of y, and this is all divided by 1 minus tangent of x, tangent of y. Okay, so let's apply this to our problem here. So I'm going to use a different color. We have the tangent of 7 pi over 12. That's equal to the tangent of, and we said, uh, we worked it out, we said it's pi over 3 plus pi over 4. Um, so I'm going to write it as pi over 3 plus pi over 4, just like that. And then now we're just carefully going to plug everything into the formula. So here, uh, our x is pi over 3, obviously, because we're using matching here, and y is pi over 4. So this will be tangent of pi over 3 plus, and then we have tangent of pi over 4. Okay, and that's all being divided by okay, 1 minus, okay, and then we have tangent x, so that'll be tangent of pi over 3, and then times tangent of y, so tangent of pi over 4. Okay, so just being really, really careful, let's check. So x is pi over 3, y is pi over 4, x is pi over 3, y is pi over 4. Everything looks okay. Always be really careful with these problems. There's just a lot of tangents everywhere, and it's easy to mess up. This is equal to, so the tangent of pi over 3 is the square root of 3. That's just from memory. And the tangent of pi over 4 is 1, also just, just from memory. Over 1 minus the square root of 3 times 1. We end up with, uh, looks like we get 1 plus square root of 3 over 1 minus square root of 3. And, you know, we can, we can clean this up. Um, one way to do it would be to um, try to um, rationalize the denominator. So we can do that by multiplying by the conjugate like this. 1 plus square root of 3 over 1 plus square root of 3. Just flip the sign uh, on the one here on the bottom. We're basically multiplying by one, so we're not really doing anything wrong, right? So, uh, and now what we can do is down here on the bottom, we can apply the difference of squares formula, right? Because this is really a minus b, a plus b. That's really a squared minus b squared, okay? And so this will be on the bottom, it's going to be a squared, so a is 1, so 1 minus, and then the square root of 3 squared, so 3. Okay, so just 1 minus 3. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really 1 squared minus the square root of 3 squared, right? Because that's 1 squared minus the square root of 3 squared. In the numerator, we just basically have to multiply it out. So we'll distribute 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3. And then the square root of 3 times 1 is the square root of 3. 
And then square root of three times square root of three is going to give us uh, just three. Okay, let's keep going. So this is equal to, so one plus three is four. And then the square root of three plus the square root of three is two square root of three. Right, it's really a one square root of three plus a one square root of three, and that gives us two square root of three. And then one minus three is negative two. We can now break this up into two fractions, so it's four over negative two. Okay, and then plus two square root of three over negative two. It's a lot, it's, it's a simple looking problem, but there's a lot of like uh, arithmetic, there's stuff with roots, um, et cetera. So this is equal to four over negative two is negative two, and these cancel here, so you get minus the square root of three. So quite a bit of work um, in this particular example to figure out the tangent of uh, seven pi uh, over 12. It took uh, a little more work than a lot of the other problems out there. So um, in, in this step here, what you really want to do again is just get rid of that square root on the bottom. So you, you just basically flip the sign and multiply. I, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.